So, game. Place the train there. Stop. So, we're at the coal mine. Click on a boxcar and it loads the boxcar with the quick time movie. Which I think is also of a Lionel train. Lionel train movie. Leaving. None of this is realistic, but it's a game. It's not a simulator. So it's early in the morning, so you have the purple sky. Two gas stations next to each other, which of course is a result of the magical scenery placement. Giant mascot, restaurant, rain, radio station, house, boulder, and so on. So you can see one square in, but not beyond. There's a curve. You don't have actual miles per hour speeds in Train Engineer. You have slow, well stop, slow, half, and fast. Are we at North Mine Station? We load the box of passengers? I don't know. Everything's a box in a box car in this. Oh well. Hit the whistle for the crossing. You don't actually do... Well, you don't really do whistle signals in this because it'll only give you the two... Basically a short long, which doesn't make any sense, but... It's a game. So I just took the switch. You saw me use the arrow key up at the top there. The arrow button. I don't think the arrow key on the keyboard would work. But to throw the switch and go the correct direction, you need to do that. You notice I'm clicking these throttle buttons there. Those three. That one's throttle up. The other one's throttle down. And then the one on the left there, the long arrow, curved arrow, is just for starting the train. And the brake is obvious. So we'll again do a load of those buttons. Really rushing it. I'm so used to this game that I'm going too fast. There's a Johnson bar, the reverser. Hit the whistle, we start again. I was doing this much faster, actually, than I remember doing it. So, like I said, this was a game that I played as a teenager all the time. And it was one of my favorite games. So I apologize if now, over 20 years later, I'm still playing it really, really fast. Practically everything about this game, even after all these years, is second nature. So I've now got the coal, the iron, and the passengers. So I'm going to go to the steel mill and drop off the iron and coal and pick up the steel. Even if this doesn't look particularly realistic, I will reiterate that it's not entirely the point. Basically, this is a game. And as such, this is... Oops! <laughs> Missed my turn there. I'm saying I'm so good at this, and I'm not. So, on our way again here. Now we're going the right way. So, stop at the steel mill. Make my deliveries. Have to make two deliveries, of course. And there is my schedule. Watch my use of the buttons there over on the right to see what's what. So now I'm loading the steel up. Again in boxes, not very realistically. Hit the whistle and go. There's the bridge that I put in earlier. And once we're back on the main, if that's the word, I can open up. And that's the map feature. The 
Magnified map feature is better though because it will identify the buildings, see? So we know now that that's where we have to be. So I've thrown the switch to go on the auto plant siding. There's the other one. So, make the delivery of steel, and we pick up the cars. Off we go. And then it starts to snow just completely randomly because it is random weather. But it is kind of ridiculous to go from rain to snow to sun to so on, but there it is. And they have the snow on the scenery object, which is cool. I'm back at the map view here to see how far I have to go before I can get to the auto wholesaler. It's quite a way, so I'm going to step out all the way and highball at full speed. Which is still not very fast, actually. It's hard to scale that. It's not really to scale. That's really the reason it's hard to scale. What is that, 80 miles an hour? Not blazing fast. But you do have to be careful about the curves, because the 90 degree curves in the switches will derail you if you hit them at full speed. So here's the passenger station at Fordville. I'm going to stop and drop off my passengers while I'm at it. Oops. I overshot the station. That doesn't work. That's one of the annoying things, is that just because the building is in view doesn't mean that you're actually there. And just because the building is not in view doesn't mean you're not there. So you have to watch the dialogue up at the top to know where you are. So anyway, I've loaded my other passengers in a box. What? Anyway. Hit the whistle, go. And the whole scene, which is not visible on screen, but it is on the map. Deliver the cars. Now... Go to the Johnson bar, hit the whistle, and now I'm going to highball all the way down the line to the other end to deliver the last of the passengers to the North Mines station. So we're going to highball the whole way, pretty much. Here I have to slow down for the curve, of course. Hit the whistle for the crossing. And I open up again. One of the faults of Train Engineer Deluxe is that it tried too hard to be a simulator when it was not. This one's just a game. With a steam locomotive instead of a diesel. So, yes, it's cheesy, yes, it's old, but it's a very nice game for 1994, provided that you don't expect anything more than that. And we're almost done here. Just hit the whistle for the crossing. About to arrive, there's North Mine Station, hit the brake, unload the passengers, and they hit the gong and schedule completed, $17,000.